Hey YouTube, this is Pamela and this is Craft and Commentary. And uh, I just got myself, uh, just made it, I made a jelly plate. And uh, I didn't, um, I had a few glitches, but uh, along the way with that. But uh, I'm going to put the recipe down below. And I'm going to tell you all about um, my successes and failures. Uh, this is my first batch of jellies, G-E-L-L-I. Go to Jelly Arts on YouTube for a million awesome tutorial um, videos at the official Jelly website or uh, YouTube channel. Here we got uh, some incredible texture. This one, all of all except one, are on black construction paper, and I mostly use the cheapest craft paints uh, from Michaels. I got a bunch recently for 39 cents a piece for two two ounces. Now you might be able to get that out in the hinterland, but uh, here in New York City that's an incredible bargain. Um, as you can see, um, I invest a little bit in some incredible, really nice uh, stencils. So here's one of the best uh, representations of that. But um, I am just crazy for the jelly plate these days. And I just enjoy this. Now these are 9 by 12. Again, this is construction paper. And uh, I believe that construction paper is your best uh, substrate for jelly plate. Now here's really plain because uh, I'm going to put all of these up on um, the bulletin board I have here at uh, the beer store that my husband and I own, City Swiggers. So here's some close-ups. Now uh, that red is not uh, is a uh, more expensive uh, paint, and uh, there's some wall paint in here. Here's a uh, stencil of dragonflies <laughs> sneaking in there, but. Uh, I fell in love with the jelly plate. It's just an awesome thing. But uh, there are recipes out there uh, in YouTube land. Uh, the Frugal Crafter. Do a search Frugal Crafter um, on YouTube. And uh, put in the search jelly. Do it yourself DIY or um, Make it yourself jelly plate. And uh, you've got a lot of interesting things there. Tell you the truth, uh, her video is a little bit, a little bit confusing. Um, so I'm going to put, put my recipe down and I'm going to basically what happened. Um, with mine, it got me through the day. In fact, everything you're seeing here I did yesterday, in one day. Now I have to say that with the jelly plate, when I start going, um, everything seems to be secondary. <laughs> um, I don't eat, I don't drink, I don't go to the bathroom, I don't, don't do anything. I just get completely immersed in my jelly plate. Now here I just uh, took a little stick and drew some hearts. Uh, the colors just drive me crazy. Anyway, I'm going to put the recipe below it and um, okay here we go. We got a lot of like subtle kind of ghost prints. When you go to Jelly Arts you're going to learn all these techniques. Um, I don't think that I can add anything 
outside of telling you that you don't have to buy a jelly plate. However, the ingredients are not, you know, that cheap. Uh, you know, you can really bargain shop on YouTube or on, on the internet. Um, let's look at some of these, this texture here. So, uh, got stencils. Um, I have bought a uh, one of those scraper items. I thought that the stencils worked pretty well here. And there's another like kind of phantom heart. But the texture and um, when you get really close to the paint, if you're a paint lover like I am, this one's a little wacky with the colors. It's kind of, kind of random. I like it. I used Actually I used black paint. Um, which is a little weird because um, I have black paper. Uh, but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. That stencil of a butterfly didn't turn out too well right there. <laughs> what I find is that with jelly plate that uh, some prints don't turn out so well. For example, this stencil here, uh, you can screw it up. You can definitely screw it up. Uh, it, it might not be crisp, or, you know, you don't necessarily want it crisp, 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 but, you know, crisp enough. You don't want it to be spreading. And that is your big um, enemy. Here I just uh, scrolled in, in, into the plate, into the... And uh, when it starts spreading, if I see an example, I'll definitely point that out. Uh, you, you haven't done it right. God, I just love. Now here, I'll have to tell you, the white, anything that's white or light colored in any of these is actually kind of uh, it, after expiration date wall paint. <laughs> I bought a bunch on eBay in little two ounce um, containers. I like this a lot. You know, I, I'm not a fan of the color orange, so that's why I like to use it. I like to see, you know, I challenge myself, you know, to do something that I, I like in the color orange. Uh, here, the texture in the hearts is from an exfoliating sponge, one of these um, plastic, you know, it's all plastic, and um, it just gives a great texture there. So, uh, it's all about colors throwing color down on the page. And I like construction paper because, uh, especially with the cheap uh, craft paints, they are not that uh, dense and creamy. They are kind of watery, which is really what you need, is watery paints. Uh, watery, but, but, you know, holding up on pigment, pigment wise. Uh, that's exactly what you want. And then with the construction paper, you have enormous amounts of absor absorption for um, uh, the dry method. It's not drying by evaporation. It's drying by absorption. And a lot of people who talk about the jelly plate, they don't mention that important fact. Uh oh, someone's in the door.